example accordingly you recreate this and now the point is in your entire validation service for any api call that you want to make this becomes a standard way of operating so for that reason we created a different class called as http rest template engine where we do this as the one time work for everybody so that any request if they want to make an http call any use case in the full validation service when they want to make http call to others we are not going to rewrite the same code multiple number of times rather we have simple code written only once and we will simply call this execute method wherever we want to create it okay another point is it always thinks in terms of ki bhai write modular code write modular code nothing but write something one time make it reusable so our modular code expectation is any okay any use case which wants to call http which wants to make http call to external service we want to go via the rest template engine http rest template engine so this is how we are trying to build now they go once you start thinking like this so one thing is you don't think about all this and wherever in your code in the service layer you get a need can you need to make api call what you will do is there itself you will write all this code you will prepare the object of this uh, http template you will make the api call and you will say okay, oh it's working but the thing is we want to make it modular reusable so when you are trying to make it reusable you think about generalizing it so that it can work for any use case and how do you generalize and dekho this is where the request structure of this execute method we simply called is http request so that is nothing but standardizing it all this is not required but if you think deeper you will be like yeah this really makes sense because we are trying to call a http whatever information now just just imagine if you are writing this code you have this full service let me open paint brush okay let's say you are into one service class now we are writing it at class level let's say let's say this is a service impl class okay and then this is this rest template engine what we are seeing right now rest template engine in fact http rest template engine and let's say this is our service class service impl so whatever is available here we can write all of this here and it will still work functionally but it is like every time we have to keep writing so modular approach says write it one time somewhere and use it across the entire system fine so we started writing the code now the point is in order so we are writing it and from this position you will call the external systems and it will work now let's say if you have a uh, 100 places from where you need to make api call you will always call this call this call this call this it will become easy for you to debug if you get to this point you can see that where all in the system we are making http call that is the power of writing it in a modular manner easy to control easy to debug comes at one central place otherwise you would have to do it at all the 100 places if you want to modify something now they go just if you start thinking more deeper okay fine we are trying to develop a common layer for making all external api calls but in order to go to the external system all of these use cases might have a di different requirement what does that mean if you open this postman right the requirement of every api is different what does this mean the endpoint is going to be different just imagine postman is a software but it asks us dynamic values the url is going to be different the request structure is going to be different maybe the parameters is going to be different yesterday we took some example the body is going to be different the header is going to be different 
nothing but the tool gives you the capability to make api call but it expects dynamic values for all of these things same thing we want to do it in the code we have written one common layer which makes the api call but for every requirement dynamic values will be expected which will be known only to the place which is actually planning to call it yes or no the dynamic value so if you are in the use case you want to make an http call this person will know ki what url i need to call what request i need to call and what http method i need to call this central box is not going to know that central box is like a postman box whatever you give it just makes the call for you so we are trying to make it modular now all of us are if you are deep thinking you will realize oh every request needs this kind of structure now how can we develop a code design in such a manner if for every request this has to be passed to this layer so that we call and one simple way to put it in code is how about we create a new java structure and name it http request and here you define whatever you want so that in the execute method from this http request we will do getter and get all the information required to make this actual http call this is what is developing a modular system reusable system and which automatically becomes you have to generalize it you have to make common pieces across the system and this is where we are creating a http request which is a common thing for all the request it is going to be common and then source wherever you want to send you will create this http request with dynamic values and then somehow you will call this execute method is it clear team so building a modular system is the requirement so that it becomes easy for tracking okay atul gets it shubham gets it what about the rest think always modularity is required in the system so that it's easy it's central easy to debug easy to handle avinash tushar good think so the learning is modularity has to be there reusability has to be there when you write code okay vedika prajna vipul priya nice 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 sai okay now the thing is these two 